Hey guys, so it's that time of year again. It is time to recap all of my favorite beauty items from the entire year. I have discovered so many awesome things this year. I'm really excited to talk about a lot of them. A lot of them I will have featured already and you guys will have seen in monthly favorites throughout the year, but basically for this video, instead of doing a December favorites video, I look back through the whole year and choose things that are either new to me or new products that have come out this year that are the best, like the very best new launches or the very best new discoveries. So starting off with face makeup, there are three foundations this year that have knocked my socks off with uh, their amazingness. The first one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. You can't buy this in the UK very easily, but it's seriously amazing, really affordable, it has amazing, amazing high coverage and in general just very good staying power and I really am a fan of that. The other one that I have fallen in love with towards the end of this year is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Reformulated Foundation. This is such a perfect daytime foundation. It's a very natural finish, but it still has a solid medium coverage. It's just beautiful to apply and it looks really radiant and gorgeous on the skin without being kind of too shiny or anything. And then the third one I don't actually have on me, but it's the Dior Forever Foundation that they also reformulated this year. I stupidly left this in London because I use it so much, but I love it because the staying power is incredible. It's very similar in texture and formulation to the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, but I think the Dior Forever stays a bit longer, like it's a bit more um, kind of hard wearing and less kind of delicate looking on the skin slightly, but it's still absolutely beautiful and I've worn it so much this year. For concealer, my favorite concealer discovery this year is another new release from Guerlain and this is the multi-perfecting concealer with hydrating blurring effect. I've spoken about this quite a lot recently because it's been a more recent discovery for me, but it is just the perfect concealer. It has amazing texture, it's not drying, it's not cakey, it's just sinks into your skin beautifully and conceals really well, but at the same time doesn't look like you've got a load of concealer on. So I'm a really big fan of that. I also love the packaging. I love the little um, pointed squeezy tube. Really perfect way to package concealer in my opinion. Moving on to other face makeup. The first thing is something from Lancome and I feel like Lancome out of all the brands, if I was gonna give an award this year to the best new releases in terms of like product innovation, it would be Lancome. They have launched so many cool things this year and there's gonna be more than a couple of them in this video. And the first one I wanna talk about is gonna come as no surprise if you watch my videos all the time, it's their cushion blusher. This stuff is amazing, not because of the cushion, just because of the texture and the formula of this product, it's so gorgeous and the finish of it is just really natural. It's just got the most beautiful kind of balmy texture to it and it just makes your skin look really naturally kind of flushed and dewy and gorgeous and it just is so nice. It comes with a little puff in there as well that you can use to apply it but to be honest I usually use a stippling brush. This colour is not my favourite, this is a really bright one, this is sparkling framboise. My favourite is the coral colour which again I left in London stupidly um, but so, so good. You need this in your life. If you're into your blushes and you like kind of cream consistency blushes, even if you don't normally like creams, like I'm not normally the biggest cream blusher fan, like I'm not crazy about them, but this I am actually crazy for, like a crazy blusher lady. That is me with this blusher. And then for highlighter, I'm a little bit late to the game with this because I believe it actually came out last year, not this year, but Becca's Champagne Pop, hello, it's amazing. It's probably the best highlighter out there. I've been obsessed with that this year. And then a more recent discovery, again, on the cushion front, I feel like I'm a cushion fiend, is the MUA Glow Beam Liquid Highlight Cushion. This is such an unusual product and it's seriously amazing and it's five pounds. So I have been loving this. It's just a really gorgeous kind of natural, beautiful glow and again a really nice texture. It's not as balmy as the Lancome ones but it's just a really gorgeous highlighter and for drugstore I feel like you can't go wrong. On another note as well, this is a kind of end of year video but I am doing a drugstore series in January so if you guys want to come back for lots of drugstore content if you're interested in amazing drugstore products I'm doing a whole series in January so make sure you subscribe to see that. Moving on to eye makeup. I'm trying to keep this video snappy, but whilst at the same time try and not be out of breath. It's kind of a hard balancing act. A mascara that's come out this year that I'm obsessed with is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. So much volume, like all the volume, all the volume in the world. And it is just magical, quite frankly. I love it. So, so good and 19 pounds as well. So I feel like it's a really good price point for high-end mascaras. This has been my definite kind of discovery and on, on the mascara front for the year. For false lashes, I'm, you know, 
obviously going to be slightly biased on the false lash front, but I have launched two new designs this year. And my favorite one has been these ones. These are the ones I'm actually wearing now. They're called Fully Fleur. If you haven't tried these yet and you're a fan of my Fleur Loves lashes, you need to try these because they are so, so nice. I feel like I'm blowing my own trumpet really heavily here, but they are so nice. They're like a full strip version of that, but they have um, brown and black mixed in together, so they're a little bit softer. They're very natural looking, at the same time as being like really comfortable to wear and just my faves in general. So yeah, they also match my outfit right now. Non-intentional. For eyeliner, I've got another Lancome release this year. This is the Grandiose liner. I've spoken about it a lot this year, but it's so good. I love the texture of this so much because it dries so quickly. You have to shake it because it's like, um, kind of separates when it's in the bottle, but it is just so black. It dries so quickly and it dries to a really nice matte finish as well. And the applicator is this gorgeous kind of sponge wand and it's so precise, it just, like moves with your movements and you can do this and like bend the wand but I actually don't do that because I don't know I just I like it just how it is but um yes this is so good if you're looking for a new liquid liner look no further you need this in your life it's so good I honestly can't sing its praises enough um and for eyeshadows two favorites on the eyeshadow stick front at the moment are the Rosie for autograph eyeshadow sticks more specifically, the like bronzy golden one makes such a good base. It's equally as good as the um, Bobbi Brown and the Laura Mercier ones that I'm obsessed with and it's £12. So these are really, really good. And then for an eyeshadow palette, I undenied about an eyeshadow palette for ages because I've used so many this year and I've loved so many. Honourable mentions go out to the Too Faced Bon Bon palette and the Tarte, Tartelette In Bloom palette. Um, all of the naked palettes as per usual. The naked, the new naked basics one is really good too. But I feel like the one that I have used the most and I think is the best size is this one, which is the Rodial um, Smoky Eye Palette. It's called the Smoky Eye Sculpt Eyeshadow Palette. It comes with six colors. And then the reason why I've included this one is because it has such a nice balance of warm and cool tones. It has one metallic which is really nice so you can kind of ham it up a bit and get your metallic kind of glitz on if you want but it also has a matte black and a matte chocolate brown it has a really nice kind of cool taupey blending shade which is just perfect for blending anything it has the perfect like base kind of neutral beigey shade and then it has an in-between kind of terracottery warmer tone uh, matte shade just perfect covers all your bases the packaging is really compact and the mirror inside it is massive as well so um that is my eyeshadow pick of the year when it comes to lipsticks there have also been a lot of lip product releases this year that have been pretty impressive. So I'm gonna start off with two favorites from MAC. The first one is their Lip Tensity lipsticks. And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the whole range in general because they've just launched this new texture um, a couple of months ago and it is just so nice, super pigmented, but at the same time, like really nice and creamy and comfortable to wear, but it stays on for freaking ages and they have like the best colors, really, really intense pigments, as the name would suggest, lip tensity. My favorite color is Smoked Almond. It's just a perfect kind of deep, nudey rose color, just a gorgeous kind of everyday color, but equally goes really nicely with smoky eyes as well. And then another favorite from MAC that I think came out at the end of last year, um, it might have been early this year, I can't quite remember, but it's definitely been one of my favourites this year, is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Feels So Grand, which is one of the red colours. They've got quite a few reds in this formula. This is just such a nice texture, it's not too drying, it's the perfect red, it's like a real gorgeous kind of iconic red. Absolutely love that, and I love the packaging of these as well, how they've got the um, MAC lipstick lids on them. Love that. Again, back to Lancome, who are smashing it, like I said. One of their releases this year that I'm also obsessed with is the Juicy Shaker. So cool. They took the Juicy Tube and turned it into something way, way, way cooler that actually people are gonna wear. Um, I feel like the Juicy Tube had its day. It's It had its sticky day. Um, and then they came up with the Juicy Shaker, which is a tinted lip oil. It's so gorgeous. And when they first released these earlier this year, I was like, wow, these are so awesome. I instantly did a blog post and I just absolutely love the texture. I thought they were such a cool concept. You shake them, they're in like a little cocktail shaker shape. Um, they're all flavored differently. I was so excited by it, really liked them. And then a couple of months ago, they introduced two new shades, one of which was Piece of Cake, which is the best 
the best colour. So, so nice. It's just a gorgeous colour. It tastes gorgeous and all like smells gorgeous. You're not going to eat it, are you? But um, yeah, this is my favourite. Absolutely love it. It's the perfect like throw in your handbag product that you can just pop on. It looks really nice. It has the perfect level of tint. So it's not like a full on lipstick kind of opaque tint, but it still has something. Like it doesn't leave you like thinking, well, that was a waste. I might as well just put on a normal lip balm. Um, the other thing, drugstore wise, that has been amazing for the past few months, I've been using it non-stop, are the Collection Velvet Kiss products. I say products because there are like three shades of this that I absolutely love. The nude shade, um, Caramel, is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And then this is Mulberry, which is my other favourite. These are such an amazing, affordable option if you're looking for a matte liquid lip colour. And they're comfortable, they're not super drying. Like a lot of the ones, the Anastasia one, I just don't get it guys. I'm sorry. The Kat Von D one, I just can't wear it. They're too dry for me. These ones are so nice because they're really creamy. They stay on for a long time. Not as long as the ones that like lock onto your lips for five hours and dry everything out and you're I feel like I can't even touch my lips together when I'm wearing them. That's how uncomfortable they are. This is like so much easier. Yeah, you might have to top it up every few hours or every five hours or whatever, but that doesn't bother me at all because they're comfortable to wear and the colour range is lovely. Love them. And they're $2.99. Like, hello, you can't go wrong with that. And then another thing that came out earlier this year that I got really excited about was a new shade in the Clarins um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. These are the most gorgeous tinted lip balms. I love them. I've loved them for a couple of years now and they launched this colour, which is number seven. It's just a beautiful dusky rose colour. It's just perfect. They taste like cakey, caramel, vanilla -y stuff and they are just so lovely and nourishing for your lips and I just really like them. Again, a perfect handbag staple. For nail polish, there has only been one this year that is like my go-to, I cannot live without this anymore, newly added to my list of holy grail products. It is Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure in Pink Pong. I believe this may have been some kind of limited edition for the spring summer kind of time but i think you can still get hold of it it's the perfect blush nude suede 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 nude suede it's not suede it's a nail polish shade nude shade um it is gorgeous it's just the perfect finish the texture of these polishes as well is lovely they're very opaque they last a really long time they don't chip that easily i've been wearing this probably for like 50% of the time since I got it. It's so good. Moving on to hair. I have four hair favourites this year. The first two will come as no surprise to any of you that have watched a lot of my videos the past uh, like nine months because I've been obsessed with this shampoo and conditioner. It's from Kiehl's. It's the amino, amino acid shampoo and conditioner. So good. If you have dry hair, you need to try this. It's so moisturising and just leaves your hair feeling super soft, silky, sleek, and just gorgeous, but it doesn't weigh it down at the same time. It's formulated with coconut oil, so it smells amazing, and it's just, I freaking love it. The first time I used this was when I was in Coachella, and I have barely stopped using it since. So good. These are the travel size ones, because I've just run out of the big ones. And then for hair styling, I've only got one product that I've discovered this year that has been like, absolutely knock your socks off amazing, and I have my friend Tati to thank for it. It's the Triple Sec 3-in-1 Texture, Volume, and Refreshing spray. Um, it's basically a texturizing spray, but you can use it as a dry shampoo. I wouldn't put it in my roots because it has hold to it at the same time. So it's just perfect if you're doing curls and you want to add a bit of texture and keep them curly. It's amazing and it smells amazing. You can't buy it in the UK yet, but you can get it in Sephora and it's wonderful. If you have not tried this and you like messy hair, you need it in your life right now. And then the final hair favourite is my wet brush. I've spoken about this loads. I feel like I'm quite late to the game with the wet brush, but this seriously has changed my hair brushing life this year. If you've got knotty hair, this is such a good addition to your regime. So, so good. Moving on to skincare. I've got four, no, five skincare favourites this year. The first one is an eye cream. Again, this is from Kiehl's. It's their Clearly Corrective Dark Circle Perfector. It has SPF 30. I find it ridiculous that more eye creams do not have SPF in them. I find that crazy. Like, why Why not? Why not? Um, it seems like such a good idea. I feel like it's the area of your face that first starts to age. So if you can formulate a good product with SPF in it for your eye area, then let's do it. I'm all up for it. It also has concealer formulated within it. So it's an eye cream, an SPF, and a concealer in one. The perfect thing for me. When I'm in a hurry, you just pop it on, and it just literally covers 
all your bases and your dark circles. Amazing, love this stuff so much. And then two non-new discoveries this year, but two definite favorites for my skincare regime. The Sarah Chapman Cleanser, Ultimate Cleanse. This is still my favorite. Takes everything off, cleanses your skin so well, leaves it feeling amazing. Um, just in general, this cleanser is holy grail for me and it, yeah, it still is this year. But I've also been loving using her Dynamic Defense Moisturizer as well, which has SPF 15, so it's perfect for every day. It's just such a gorgeous texture, really kind of rich and luxurious and just so, so nice. These products are expensive. Sarah Chapman is quite a pricey brand, but in terms of being worth it for the results that you see, 100% worth it. I absolutely love both of these products. My favorite mask discovery this year has been the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. The one thing I would say about this is it's in a ridiculously small pot for the price, so use it sparingly, but it really is amazing. If you're looking for a mask that's really gonna help kind of boost your radiance and make your skin look amazing at the same time as kind of, it, I feel like it feels like you have new skin when you use this. It feels like your skin is just so smooth and it like dries onto your face. And then if you move, it like cracks it. It's like the weirdest feeling. I actually really like it. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine. But yeah, that's been my mask favorite of the year. Another new release this year that I've been obsessed with. I've absolutely loved it. Actually, Mike has stolen this for the majority of the year. And I just realized this is pretty much empty. It's the Body Shop Skin Defense SPF 50 PA++++. Um, so basically it is a SPF. This stuff is so good. It's just such an amazing texture. It's like almost like a serum. It just sinks into your skin immediately. There's no kind of awkward white rubbing cast or like anything. It's just so nice. Instantly absorbed, done, you've done your SPF, great. Another thing that I'm loving bath and body wise, moving on from like my face to my armpits, is this, which is a deodorant. Very unsexy favorite, but seriously, it's so amazing. It's the Mitchum Ultimate Gel 48 Hour Unscented Clear Gel. Um, I've talked about Mitchum a lot. They're my favorite deodorant brand ever. They just make you not sweat and smell. Like really, I have never had an issue when I've been wearing Mitchum, ever. And I feel like they're known as being like the sweaty person deodorant, but I've said this before and I'll say it again, I don't mind as long as I'm not sweating. I don't care which deodorant I'm wearing because it's working. This stuff is so good. The one thing I would say about it is that it does like get used up very quickly and it is five pounds. So if you are a deodorant connoisseur and you're really picky about your deodorant, definitely try this, but it is a fairly pricey alternative in comparison to like the normal like roll-ons or whatever, but so good, no white marks, no sweat. Bam, done. It's also quite nice and cooling when you put it on because it's like a gel, probably TMI, but you know. Another Bath and Body favorite is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I feel like this has been really hyped up. You get it in Sephora. I don't know if you can buy it in the UK. I feel like it's something that cult beauty should sell if they don't already. It smells almost identical to the Laura Mercier Creme de Pistache, which if you guys are long time viewers, you will know I'm obsessed with that. It's so sweet, quite sickly. A lot of you probably won't like it because it's too sweet but it's such a good body lotion. I was about to put it on my hand with all of those swatches. That would have been such a bad idea. It's such a nice body lotion. It has like a slight shimmer to it as well. And what I really like about it is that the smell does not go away. And this was actually, I had looked at this so many times in Sephora and my friend Bella, if you're watching this, hi Bella, thanks for the recommendation. I do love it. She pushed me over the edge to buy it because she was like, so obsessed with it. She was like, you need it. You need it in your life. You need to buy it. I was like, okay, I need it in my life. And it a little bit goes a long way as well. Just really, really nice. And the smell stays forever. Not forever, but for a few hours. And then my final two favorites are fragrance related. The first one is a perfume. The second one is a candle, both of which are my ultimate favorites this year in terms of fragrance discovery. The first one of which is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon Fragrance. They came out with two new fragrances this year, both of which are lovely, this one and the rose one. I'm already obsessed with their black and white ones as well. I feel like they've just nailed it for fragrance. The Olsen twins, turns out, know what smells good. This is my fave. I love it so much. It's like sweet and sexy and kind of like dark and mysterious at the same time. That was a really lame way to describe fragrance. If you have the chance to smell it, it smells so good. Again, Sephora, I don't know if you can get it in the UK. You still can't. Somewhere must start stocking these guys because their fragrances are amazing. And then last but not least, before I go and drink a whole litre bottle of water because my voice is about to die, my favourite candle of the year, I've got to thank my 
best bae slash I wish not, I don't know her at all, Taylor Swift. Um, gotta thank Taylor Swift for this recommendation because it's her favorite candle. Um, yep, yeah, I may be a stalker. I did not buy it because of that. That's a lie. Um, it's the Byredo Treehouse candle. So expensive but so good. I've made this last like six months and it's wonderful. It is so wonderful. Mine is, it's probably got like an hour burn left in it. 50 pounds, worth it. I feel like I'm having a bit of a love affair with this candle right now, but it smells so good. If you like anything kind of woody or kind of cozy, homely, fireside kind of smell, you need it in your life or you need to just walk past it and smell it and just take it in because it's so wonderful. That is it for my 2016 favorite best beauty products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. What a year for beauty launches. I feel like there have been so many awesome new things out this year. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed that I haven't tried this year that is your beauty favorite this year. Let me know because as you guys know, I'm always looking for new things, always. Um, I hope you guys have had an amazing, amazing Christmas period and I will see you in the new year with lots of awesome drugstore content. I'm having a drugstore month all the way through January, so make sure you come back for that and I'll see you then.